many Counter-Strike players that play on PC don't even know that there is CSGO on console. If they did know that, chances are they didn't realize that CSGO on console is not a fully released game. It's actually considered just an arcade game that you can only buy in a digital version for the last generation Xbox 360. Sure, it is backwards compatible on Xbox One, but most people can't even buy it on Xbox One because Microsoft never added the game to the Xbox One backwards compatible store. So people can't even find the game when they search for it on Xbox One unless they already own the game or downloaded it on the Xbox 360 at some point. Unfortunately, because of that, CSGO on Xbox hardly gets any new players. Sure, it's true, all older games eventually lose players over time, but the CSGO on console version has lost thousands and thousands of players over the years on a much larger scale than most games ever experience. Based on the fact that some people just stop playing the game over time, and there have been little to no new players because nobody can actually find the game on the Xbox One. Recently, I kept track of the player count for the online competitive mode for Xbox CSGO. So the week of July 19th, 2019 to July 26th of 2019, we lost 519 players over that 7-day span. We went from 17,818 players to 17,299 total players. On two of those days, we lost over 100 in less than 24 hours. On the 21st, we lost 147, and on the 25th, we lost 121 total players in a single day. This, of course, is nothing new, as we have steadily been losing players over the last three years on here, at least since I started playing CSGO on console. When I started playing this, there was over 350,000 players that played casual. Now there's 48,195. And the list goes on. We used to have over 25 or 30,000 players in Demolition. Now we're at less than 5,000. Arms Race had about 40,000 players with stats when I first started playing this. And now it's down to almost 7,000. Online Competitive is the main game mode. And I think I've seen it as high as 180,000 players that had stats at one point. Now we're at less than 16,800. Hell, in the last 20 days since I started keeping track of the player count for competitive, we have now lost over 1,000 players alone, going from 17,818 to 16,731. And if I had to predict where those numbers are headed, I would say within the next year or two, competitive will go down to about 7,000 total players. Arms Race will probably only have about 4,000 players a year from now, and Demolition will probably go as low as 2,000 players, unfortunately. In Casual, I haven't kept track of that because I don't play Casual, but it would not surprise me if that number went as low as 10 or 15,000 players on Xbox. And it's more than possible those player counts could go even lower than that at some point. And when it comes to PlayStation, CSGO never made it to PS4. And the PS3 version of CSGO was completely shut down recently because Sony is trying to move on from the PS3. At least that's the way I'm looking at it. So Counter-Strike altogether on PlayStation, all of a sudden, no longer exists. And the Xbox version has already lost most of its player base. I completely understand it's not that good of a version of the game, but it beats not playing it at all, which is why I play it. I love CSGO with a passion. I don't care if it's terrible or not on console. I enjoy playing the game. And it sucks to see the player base falling apart or seeing it shut down altogether on another platform. And seriously, whenever people make a negative comment about Counter-Strike in general being on console, I always tell them this. Do you even realize the game has never been updated it technically can't even be found on Xbox One, and it's not an actual fully released game, right? Like, it's just an arcade game. Valve never made a serious attempt at the console version. So how are you going to sit there and say, it doesn't belong on console, when in reality, if they simply released the full game and updated it, it would actually work out just fine? 
And this isn't the only CS game to ever make it on console. I believe the very first one from the year 2000 made it to the original Xbox console. You probably didn't know that. Also, I know some PC players will say it's terrible with the controller too, and yet I play with the controller and I put up better numbers against everybody, even against these fucking keyboard players on console. But anyways, the way I see it guys, in my opinion, everyone should have a chance to play CSGO. That's what I've been trying to get at here. I'm definitely not a fan of what Sony has just done with their version of CSGO, with them shutting it down completely. Sure, that version was a little worse compared to the Xbox version, but at the end of the day, CSGO is a top 10 game of all time. People should have a chance to play some version of it on any system or platform. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments section below. That's all I've got for this little discussion. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for checking this video out. I'll see you next time.